physical creatures in this Hercules awesome or are they just that? Myths. Is the story in this movie really fantastic or is it the most predictable story you've ever seen? Tell me, is this a good movie? No, it's directed by Brett Ratner! Hercules starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the son of Zeus, Hercules, directed by Brett Ratner, who directed good movies like Tower Heist and Red Dragon, but he also directed X-Men The Last Stand, which unfortunately this movie, Hercules, fares in the latter category, the X-Men The Last Stand category. <laughs> this movie stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the son of Zeus, Hercules, and he does an amazing job. And this movie takes place after he did the 12 labors. The, the 12 labors are actually shown in the first five minutes of this movie. The mythical creatures that he's defeated. All, all you see in the trailer, that, that is actually the first five minutes. The Hydra, the giant wild boar, the big lion. That's it. That's all they show, really, for Mythical Beasts. And unfortunately, we find out later on in the movie that they're just that, myths. Other mythical creatures that we find out are just myths are also centaurs in this movie and uh, the three-headed dog of Hades. The plot of this movie is after the death of Hercules' family, the son of Zeus has decided to become a mercenary and he's got his merry band of men. Rufus Swell plays his best friend in the movie and I'm going to show the names up on the screen because I really can't say the names. I don't know how to pronounce them. And you got Ingrid Boslow Berdahl playing the Amazon woman. I actually liked her. I thought she did a pretty good job in the movie. Ian McShane plays the seer in the movie, who is very funny, I really did like him. There's this running gag in the movie that, that, that he predicts his own death, and you keep wondering, is it going to happen or not? And it's just really funny when he waits for his own death to happen, and you wonder if it's going to happen or not. <laughs> and you got this insane guy in the movie, I don't even know who plays him, but he's a guy that doesn't speak at all, and he was a pretty good character as well. And finally you got the annoying nephew. Oy, I hated this guy. This guy reminded me of the fool from Conan the Destroyer. Yeah, I hated him that much. <laughs> and this merry band, Hercules, are hired to train, are hired by this king, played by John Hurt, to train this army to fight against this warlord named Ulysses. And that's basically the movie. And the movie's pretty action packed. I did like the action in this movie. I did like the speeches that Hercules gives out, although the speeches were very reminiscent of the speeches that Mel Gibson gave in the movie Braveheart, though, as well. <laughs> and then there is the fact that the soldiers chanted his name, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. And that brings back the memories of the Nebby Professor. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules! <laughs> yeah, remember that? When you bring up that image, that's really not a good idea to do when you're doing a Hercules movie. But Dwayne Johnson does an excellent job as Hercules. Uh, Rufus did a great job in the movie. Ian McShane was good. John Hurt was very good in the movie as well. And it did have a twist in the movie that I didn't expect. So I thought it was a pretty good movie. I'm going to give this movie a C+. I basically recommend to rent it from Redbox or Netflix it. And that's all I got to say about Hercules.